apple I had. One person is telling bad things about you, he's treating you bad, and you are long suffering, long suffering, you forgive him, you try to help him, but he only wants you to make one mistake. And in that moment when you make it, you destroy for yourself. I made this, uh, this experience many times. Uh, then people had this picture of me, you know? And what should I do? They are right. That's how I reacted. You understand? I cannot say you are wrong. This was my reaction. Nobody understands that I normally... I, and not like that. Nobody understands that I was treating him many years long-suffering and good. Now the situation is destroyed. And I make the, the experience very often that I have destroyed situations because of my wrong reaction. Do you understand the point? It doesn't help in that moment to say, I was suffering two years. No, I have destroyed the situation. I understood slowly, 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 and I need to understand much more. But I understand right now that here is the solution why Jesus says, when you meet the evil, conquer the evil with good. Love your enemies. Treat those good who treat you evil. It's the only thing you can do for yourself, for your family. If you make a mistake, there will be a picture and this can destroy your whole life. Um, we had this uh, conversation, I know it from some families. You can be the best father to your children, you can uh, treat them right all the time, and then you treat them wrong one only second when, when some from the government are watching you and they will take away the children from you. What can you do? Yeah. The best thing is that we learn us to live like Jesus lived, to treat those with love who are hating us because they want to provocate us to make the mistakes. Do you understand? That's the strategy of the devil. The devil wants us to make the mistakes. And when we make the mistakes, bums, then we are lost. It's hard. Some people are not as bad. Some people, they realize when we treat them well, that they are wrong. We make this experience too. And it's wonderful to see that even the most terrible people can understand that they are wrong. They can find Jesus through our example and become new people by the forgiveness of Jesus. And they can enter into the kingdom of God. So let's continue here. It sounds hard, but there is no better strategy. I'm so happy that God can give us peace, that we can live our life in that peace. We cannot solve all the problems, but maybe that's not our duty. Maybe we become angry because we try to solve the problems, but I must learn that's not my duty. My first duty is to live like Jesus did, to treat those who are evil in another way as I did. I must learn to react different as I did in some situations. Because when I react wrong, there is a picture. And it's a wrong picture who destroys. And when we react wrong, we give also a wrong picture of Jesus. And it's, this is a dangerous too. Then people can look on us and say, see, look, he, he says he follows Jesus, but look how he lives, look how he behaves. We give a wrong picture. So think about pictures. I hope uh, you take a little bit of time at home to think about these two pictures first of all. I'm so happy about this picture on the cross, which shows us how God really is. And that's what Paul says 
He says, don't misunderstand the long suffering of God. We can misunderstand it. We can think God is ignorant. He doesn't care. He does. We can think God has no empathy. He has no emotions. That's wrong. The Bible is telling he's suffering with us. Don't think that God is, is living in illusions, that he has the hope that the world maybe becomes better. No, he doesn't. We must live in the truth. The only reason why he not is throwing the lightning is because he is wise and because he is love. Because then he must throw the lightning on us all because we are all sinners. We have sinned. But that's the long suffering of God. He is waiting. What is he waiting for? He is waiting that we repent. He is waiting that we get the right picture. He is waiting that we make Jesus to our king. Because he doesn't want us to go lost. He wants to save us. Imagine today or tomorrow, one person here in Oslo or in Norland gets the right picture and repents. Then there is one more who loves God and one more who tries to become like Jesus and one more who is maybe a good example as Job was and one more who will enter into the kingdom of God. That's why God is waiting. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wonderful love. I thank you, Lord, that you came to this world in Jesus Christ to show us how you really are. And I thank you, Lord, that we can see your love, your goodness, your grace, your mercy with us in every single word, in every single action you do. And I love, I love you, Lord, especially for these two histories when you are washing the feet of your disciples knowing that they will run away from you and make but only evil things and I love the most this picture on the cross where you died for us to save us and to reveal your love to us we thank you Lord for that Amen Yeah, now we have uh, time to uh, take a coffee, to talk maybe together. If you have some questions, um, we can talk about that. Uh, normally we would sing some songs, uh, but Christina is not here now, so it's difficult. Okay, I wish you a blessed uh, evening and uh, you are hearty welcome again. On uh, Tuesday we have prayer meeting and on uh, next Saturday we have uh, church service again. Thank you for your coming and uh, we see us next time.